Mr. Corinthos, sir. Just wanted to pay my respects. And what can I do for you, Spinelli? Just far too many unsavory characters here tonight. And who, pray tell, might this new woman be? Well, maybe not new, but rediscovered, because I saw the way you were looking at Maxie when she walked out with a boyfriend. I, I, I will always love Maxie. She's, she's the mother of my child, but I, I do not love her romantically. I just, I just, I just wish for her happiness and, and a better man than that, than that would be quarter man. It's been like man to man. If there's a woman that you're after, uh, that you, you, you care about, right? Whether it's Maxie or anybody else, you gotta follow your heart. You gotta tell them what they mean to you before it's too late. Thank you, Mr. Corinthus, sir, for your hard-won wisdom, which, of course, I know you also live by. <laughs> oh, hi, welcome back. How was your night? Uh, you know, other than tripping at the Metro Court, uh, we had a great time. Oh, my God. We went to a wine tasting. Oh, nice. Ouch on the finger, but that sounds like fun. Yeah, it was pretty good. Hey, the way you downed that foie gras, I think you thought it was more than eh, pretty good. Okay, so here's the thing. Like, my my life so far, my tastes have run towards the can of beans and hot dog over an open fire kind of thing. Mm. Turns out, goose liver is delicious. <laughs> well, Max has always had expensive taste. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with enjoying the finer things in life. All I'm saying is it's a good thing Maxie's company went public so she can pay for those finer things. Hey, it's better than when I used to run up your credit card in high school, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we can all laugh about it now. But wait till it's your turn. I mean, you know, it may seem like years off, but blink. And before you know it, your own kids will be running up their own extracurricular shopping. Okay, well, when that day comes, I'll be thinking of you. So be kind. Okay. <laughs> Kids asleep? Sleeping the sleep of the innocent. As they should be. Sounds really nice, actually. I should get going. Okay. Thank you for a really lovely evening. You wanna do it again sometime? Name the day. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? We did say we would do something tomorrow, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Or did we? Honestly, you know, there was so much going on between that ultra photographer and then running into Spinelli. Thank you, by the way, for being so kind to him. He's usually like that, you know, really standoffish, but he'll like you as soon as he gets to know you. I know he will. I'm just so worried Spinelli's lonely. He lost Jason and Ellie in the time span of just a few months, and he's trying to figure out what's next for him. Maxie. Where was I? Oh, yes, tomorrow. Uh. Okay, um... I do really want to see you tomorrow. Great. But Georgie and James have activities, and I really need to bake, or I need to go to Eckerd's and throw myself at their mercy for four dozen cupcakes, which will yeah. probably clean them out, but... Okay. Maxie, if you don't want to hang out tomorrow, I know I gotta do say something. 